I have to just do it sometimes. Like we all have to. What's burnout? It's when you do a lot of things, a lot of reading, a lot of writing, a lot of crocheting, and then you realize what you're doing with this sort of work. See, I've got loads of crochet stuff in my spare room, but I don't know what to do with it. So, I was like, I might start collaborating with people. I did charity work, formed my own little shop, you know, like outside. And it wasn't fulfilling because I felt like that I wanted to teach and educate. Uh, and then I went back to education, internet, and I like did webinars, master classes, and I just felt like they was all bragging about their own lives, how much money they was making, and stuff like that. And then I came to myself, and it's like, just focus on your crochet for a bit. And then the time came again out into deep depression, it's like, oh, what's my purpose? And then, yeah, meditation. Uh, read a lot of uh, Neville books and stuff like that. And spirituality books, and I do tarot readings for myself. I don't go out and say, oh, do you want me to do your tarot reading for you? I might throw one or two online and, yeah, whatever, I feel the vibe. But I think everyone can do that sort of thing if they just, yeah, learn. Learn how the cards, threads are. I just picked it up one day from uh, reading literal playing cards. Because they are exactly the same, it's just tarot cards, got pictures on them. And then, I went, I always got a project with me, a crochet. And then, I moved away a bit from that. And then I did my own affirmations with calligraphy. And I loved calligraphy so much. And I like, I've been practicing it. You know, like forever. Still, from this day on, you know, like there's certain things where, yeah, I struggle with, but you still have to learn. It's a process. You know, like the famous words, Rome isn't built up by night, kind of thing. It wasn't built by night. I stumbled a bit. I did go to a special needs school. And I have got a bit of ADHD, so it's always constant learning, constantly wanting to want to self improve myself in a way. And the other things are just focus on hobbies and what you truly enjoy, even if it was something back when you was a kid collecting things. I loved animals. I went back to doing animal, you know, like looking after dogs and stuff like that because I was so used to dogs around me. And then I kind of stopped that and I like people moved on as they do. And yeah, that's what I do now. I'm always looking for some sort of collaboration if it's Music involved, fashion involved, shopping, I love going shopping, um, staying at hotels. I've stayed at a few um, hotels in Spain, which is really good. But I don't do it much. I struggle with agoraphobia and social 
gatherings and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm mostly I'm on my own, which I enjoy because I can focus more on my pro projects and, you know, like, it's less intense for me. I'm more, you know, like, a one-to-one -one person. I can go out in crowds, don't get me wrong, but afterwards I just get so burnt out. I thought it was just me being, you know, like, socially awkward, but I'm not socially awkward. I can have a conversation with you. It's just... I don't know, the small talk gets to me because I know that people's got more to say. I've got more to say. If you're having small talk with me, I will mirror you. You know what I mean? That's how we brought up. No, like, everything isn't all in verbal communication, it's body language. So if you're going to turn away from someone, yeah. That's telling them you're not really interested. So, yeah. I don't know. I might be preaching a lot at this moment in time. But I just wanted to do another video and say what's on my mind and, yeah, what I inspire to be and wanting to do instead of sitting around and crocheting and thinking of my own dynasty, do you know what I mean, or empire from a bit of crochet, do you know what I mean? But sometimes it is about visualising what you want to do, and then that, it gives you step-by-step -step guide of your own guide of what you want to do. So what if people's not interested in what you're doing? It's all about what you want to do. Anyway, hope this video reaches out to people who understand and, yeah, like this sort of content. Like, subscribe and, yeah, tell me a bit of your story. Check out my blogs, my Facebook, uh, my Star Maker. I'm not the best of singer, but guess what? You have to give it a go. It's a bit of fun. And Fan Lab. I'm on all oh, only fans, but that's for all the naughties out there. Uh, that's about it, really. I just love, love. experimenting new things and trying and learning new things so yeah if this video intrigues you to talk to me come and talk to me i'm not always cold it's just if you're going to approach me in a weird way i will approach you in a weird way i'll respond in a weird way human nature in it anyway bye for now love you lots johnny boy